WHO, who's very concerned about this outbreak, called a consultation that involved uh, ministers of health from the affected countries, industry representatives, uh, scientists that are working on Ebola, ethicists, clinical experts, all together to discuss what could be done uh, with potential new interventions, recognizing that there are no licensed vaccines or drugs specifically targeting uh, Ebola. The outcome of this meeting was that, first of all, understanding what the scope of this problem is and being able to judge as a community what maybe some of the more promising interventions might be. And these are coming from the pharmaceutical industry, from biotechs, and there is a tremendous sense, I think, of collaboration uh, to be able to work together to understand how best we can use these unproven tools to help uh, combat this, uh, this uh, epidemic. In light of what was concluded at the WHO consultation, what actions will be taken in order to respond to this outbreak? There were a, a sort of a priority of uh, activities that they would like to see progress. Number one was vaccines, number two was drugs, and number three would what we call post-exposure prophylaxis. And in this latter category, they're talking about taking convalescent serum or blood from individuals that have recovered from Ebola, and those people develop naturally develop uh, antibodies in their blood. And this, these are being proposed as experimental ways to rapidly be able to provide treatment for individuals that are infected. What is the role of the pharmaceutical industry, including GlaxoSmithKline, in supporting efforts to control this epidemic? What are the challenges being faced? The pharmaceutical industry, the vaccine manufacturers, GSK in particular, are very, very committed to helping and doing whatever we can uh, to help solve this problem. GlaxoSmithKline has been working on an Ebola vaccine that is uh, just begun its first uh, clinical studies. We've been asked by uh, WHO to see if we can find a way to accelerate the development of this vaccine so that it could be potentially used to help uh, protect healthcare workers who have to manage patients in this very, very difficult environment. One of the biggest challenges we're facing is how to demonstrate that this vaccine is both safe and immunogenic in a very short period of time. We've been asked to, to get answers that would normally take us a year to a year and a half to collect and have those data within like three months. And that is a challenge. We want to do this while maintaining the quality and yet not sacrificing speed. And this is critical to be able to be responsive to this, to this outbreak. With the spread of the Ebola virus outpacing the response, what has to be done to meet the urgent needs of those affected by this outbreak? The core of protecting the community from Ebola is really to, ice, to identify patients, isolate them, find their contacts, and provide supportive care to those patients uh, while they're ill. GSK and other uh, members of the pharmaceutical uh, industry have been providing funding have been providing personal protective equipment and other resources that really help the physicians and the nurses and everybody who's taking care of these Ebola patients. This is an unprecedented pace that we're being asked to work at. No one is used to it, but we're, we're, we're doing our best to, to respond to the crisis.